Hello and welcome to Law Seeko. Let's talk about the top 10 news developments for the day under two minutes for judiciary aspirants. And we start with the national news first. Let's talk about an action plan which is devised by the Delhi government. So Delhi government has recently launched a comprehensive 21 point action winter plan. So this is, uh, you know, going to focus on real time monitoring of pollution using drones by deploying special task forces and also by putting into action emergency measures. Now, the controller and auditor general of India, the CAG, is assumed chairpersonship of Asian Organization of Supreme Audit Institutions for the term of uh, starting from 2024 and concluding at 2027. Now, the Union Minister of Textile, Shri Giriraj Singh, has unveiled the commemorative coin celebrating Platinum Jubilee of Central Silk Board at Mysore. The National Mission for Clean Ganga's Executive Committee, it has recently approved conservation projects which are worth rupees uh, 1000 plus crore ahead of the Mahakumbh Mela, which is planned next year in its 57th meeting. Now, let's talk about uh, the uh, you know entire encounter case of Akshay Sinde. So, the Bombay High Court has grilled the Maharashtra police over the same, over the custodial death of Akshay Sinde, who is uh, accused in the Badlapur sexual assault case. So, the Prime Minister for India, he has launched three Param supercomputers and this is, these computers, they are developed indigenously under the National Supercomputing Mission. Now, let's talk about the international news developments. So, the foreign ministers for three countries, it has India, Brazil and South Africa, they have pressed for concerted actions against all UN-listed terrorist and ter terrorist entities. So, for example, it includes Pakistan-based lashkar e taiba Jess e Mohammed and other proxy groups and their facilitators. Now, Sri Lanka's uh, Kamindu Mendes, he has created history. And what is that? He has become the first player in history to score 50 plus scores in eight consecutive tests since his debut. Now, wrapping up the segment with an important day. So, the day concerned is the International Day for Universal Access to Information. It is observed annually on 28th of September. That's all we have for the day. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until we meet again.